Hey, I'm just thinking, I'm just trying to think about this whole bear thing that happened not too long ago. We were up at our cabin finishing painting it. Uh, we've owned that cabin for 15 years and um, about eight to 10 years ago, we had a series of break-ins where bears, while we were gone, never while we were there, bears would come and kind of rip their way through the wall in the kitchen and, and kind of eat our toothpaste and our red vines and our dog food, whatever it is we have there. Um, but we've never had a bear approach the cabin when, when we've been there. Um, so we're there one evening and um, we'd gone to bed early. And I somehow woke up about midnight, I think, and um, I'm laying there and I can't go back to sleep. So I'm just laying there and I start hearing, I start hearing some different noises like you know, rocks kind of getting tumbled as they're being step, uh, stepped over. And and then I start hearing little taps, like at various places around the cabin. So I just sort of had this feeling like, I think that's bear, but I'm not really sure. But it's like going around the cabin, just kind of like smacking at it, you know, hitting the window here, hitting the wall there. And the moon was out, so I... And my head, the head of my bed is right by one of the doors and all our doors are made mostly of glass. And then, so I looked out the curtain, didn't see anything. By then, it must have been on the other side of the cabin. So it's going around, I'm hearing these noises, feeling the presence of this big creature. And then uh, all of a sudden, I hear this little right by the head of my bed and I'm going, what? So I look over, through the curtains again and there's like this big hairy knee uh, right up against the door and then I look up the things on its hind legs at our door and it's going like this and we're and I'm going we just painted that oh my god I mean all these years we're just finishing our paint job and here's this bear comes up and it's standing there well scared the crap out of me so I I grab my flashlight, I jump out of bed without even thinking, and luckily I was in my bear costume as well, um, so you know we were equal. I ripped open the curtains, and I stand up to the bear. We're like mirroring each other, just like this, and I go, ah, thinking that it would scare it and it would like run away, but it didn't. It just kind of like stood there, and we were staring at each other, and I'm going, oh my god. And then, well, my first scream terrifies Therese, wakes her up. So then she jumps out and we're both just yelling at the bear. We're like nose to nose. It's like all this, the, the, the glass of, of the cabin door is all that's between us. And, and finally, when Therese was pounding, pounding, pounding on the door and we were both screaming, it finally, finally decided, eh, you know, it wasn't in too big a hurry, but it finally turned away from the door and it sauntered off about 10 feet. Then it got to the wood pile and it like turns around and just looks at us like, do I want to take this? I mean, it smells awfully good in there. I mean, Teresa made this really good, you know, thing. But finally, and we're, and we're shining the light on it, we're yelling, and we're pounding on the door. And finally it decides that it's going to leave. But it was so freaky because we'd never seen a bear act like that before. And so we thought, is it crazy? Does it have rabies? Is it going to come back? And we have like no protection. I mean, you just kind of realize how vulnerable you are. And, and uh, we were actually freaked out. I don't, I think I'm still coming down off the adrenaline high. And I, we didn't basically sleep much the rest of the night. It was a very, very long night. We were wondering if we were going to make it to, to see the light of day. It was one of those really freaky things. Um, I don't know why I want to share that, but I guess that's my bear story. Now I'm probably like a bear shaman or something like that. And, and I probably have really cool powers and, and I can't imagine living like in South Central or in a war zone where you're not even sure if you're, for you, you're not even certain of your physical safety. It's so exhausting. I can't imagine people living with that kind of fear, just basic primal survival fear um, at all. So, wow. So, 
this is this got to be a really long video.